Do you have ear pain? Have you been told your station tube is blocked? Then this video is for you. I'm Dr. Karen Drummond, owner of Drummond Chiropractic, and I'm going to be sharing with you an eustachian tube drainage technique that provides ear pain relief. Now, as always, before you follow any advice from any video, check with your healthcare provider to make sure it's appropriate for your specific condition, and hopefully that's one of us here at Drum and Chiropractic. So first, let me explain what the eustachian tube is. It's literally a tube that drains the middle ear into the back of your throat. And this is why when you have a throat infection, it can cause an earache, or if you have an ear infection, it can cause your throat to be sore because there's a tube that connects the two. So how do you help your body drain the yuck from the middle part of your ear? First, you wanna liquefy the mucus that might be impacted in there. And to do this, you can simply apply a heat pack to the side of your face and throat to liquefy the fluid. I like to use ear oil. I have a whole nother video on how you apply ear oil to the outer ear. And you might be thinking, well, that's for the outer part of your ear. But because the ear oil is applied warm, that heat gets deeper into the ear structures and helps warm the middle part of your ear as well. And bonus, the ear oil typically has herbs that help your immune system. So now that you've heated up the area and gotten things softened and ready to get them moving, the next stage is to create more space to encourage the drainage of that mucus. To create space, you can pull on your ears. Can you see how that will give you station two more room? so that the mucus can flow down. You can pull your ears up and out and down. You can open up your jaw as wide as you can, stick your tongue out as far as you can. In yoga, we call this lion's pose. And that'll also create more space. You can do the cranial release technique to get the cranial bones moving. And that'll also start encouraging the mucus to exit the sinuses and exit that inner ear and middle ear to help it drain into the eustachian tube. The next phase is to get things moving so they can drain out. So you can do this by moving your eyes left and right, up and down, wiggling the eyes around. We'll get those sinuses of wiggling. That'll get things moving. So once you've softened the upper portions, the next stage is to encourage the flow out of the middle ear and into the throat. And we do this by the eustachian tube drainage technique. And you do this by placing your fingers behind your ear between the two bony parts, the bony part of your jaw and the bony part of your skull. There's a soft spot there. And you take two fingers and you press into it. Now be careful, this can be a very tender area. So start real gentle and work your way in deeper and deeper to tolerance. Notice I'm not moving my hands around up or down or in a circular motion. I'm literally just pressing in and out. This will mimic a peristaltic activity to encourage the flow down and out. Once it gets less tender, and I wouldn't do it more than a dozen times, move to the, a little bit further down, about a centimeter down. And again, press and release, press and release. Work that mucus out. And then when it's less tender, move down a little bit further. And again, press and release. We're gonna work all the way down to the collarbone. Now the eustachian tube doesn't go down that far, but we're also doing this to soften the muscles in the front of the neck. Can you see if the muscles in the front of your neck are tight, it can occlude the flow of the eustachian tube. So you also wanna be doing this to massage those muscles so they're not so tight. And once you get all the way down to the collarbone, you're gonna, you should notice that you're starting to swallow as the mucus dumps into the back of the throat. You can swallow it. Your stomach is designed to kill any bacteria that might be in that mucus because your stomach is full of acid and digestive enzymes. But what I personally do is I'll have a cup of warm water with a teaspoon of sea salt and I'll gargle it after doing the first drainage. And then I'll repeat two more times. And by then I'm feeling pretty clear, both in my ears, my sinuses and my throat. So for a quick recap, you're gonna heat the area, you're gonna mobilize the bones, wiggle the eyes, pull in the ears, stick your tongue out with your jaw wide open, do the eustachian drainage three times, gargle if that makes you feel better. It's that simple. So I hope this has been helpful. You know we'd love to hear from you, so if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, stay well. The drum is different. The drum is different.